Hello all and welcome back to Adder Shoving here on Farm Sim 22. And as you may have noticed, we've pretty much used all of our money. We're gonna get some money back by selling some of the eggs, honey that's and strawberries we've got. The reason why we're selling them now is simply because we don't really have a means in terms of proper storing it long term we need well, we've got the sheds and that, we could store those in. But it's one of those things, it's, especially strawberries and that, like how to store them relatively chilled. Or do you have something like a little reefer truck or something? Could be an option for us, but... I know like, if we store the strawberries away in the sheds and that, close it off and that, it'd be fine for a couple of months, I'm sure, but... Yeah, might as well just sell them now, and the reason why we spent all of our money is on a lot of things. Not in terms of equipment, just general supplies for the farm. Things like seed, fertilizer, straw and that. Things I don't have, like for the cows and that, so... What I'm going to do is just turn into here, and... Yeah, so perhaps what we, to us what we could really do with is finding another rare... Game cartridge, but again, I don't know where they are. So, if we sort of have a little look around as we're going around, we find one, and yeah, sure, we'll get them. But so, I really think that will help us here just to slightly progress a little bit. Now, so I collect like, one or two here and there. There is like things of like 20 or so around the map, so. Go and sell. So yeah, we're back up to just over six grand. Can we hit seven? And that's a no. But still, six grand from what we yeah, you're pretty much bang on six grand nearly. Yeah, six grand and six hundred or six grand and six quid. So it's also not too bad of a shout. So the good thing we've got the John Deere here with the big back hander and the Goose egg trader with the bumper attacher because we we'll load things up because things like straw we can keep out for the cows and terms of where we store all this we do have that second red shed so I'm thinking we can store that there and yeah simply go from there sort them away and as and when we need them we just pull them out and boom. Potentially we could have used it as like a little new storage for things like sugar cane, like the root crops and that, like can't store them in our normal silos, but I think this would be a better option for now, especially when we're not tuning any harvesting at the moment. Because we're obviously all done. We need to lime. Yeah, we need to lime, cultivate, seed, and roll the field. Or one of the cool fields one, which is 26, 27, and 43. That's going to be our wheat field. And I find the side of 25, 30, and 31. It's going to be our sugar beet field. It's going to be a bit of a small field, I know. I should not. Nah, no, sorry. 30, 31, and 11 is going to be our sugar beet field. We'll have in one area. 25 is going to be our grass field. Yes, I know it's not a big grass field, but at the moment, something's better than nothing. And down the road, get more fields. We can convert them into grass fields if needed. Things like. 29 potentially, so I think that's not like high yieldage, like some of those non high yieldage fields potentially. Be okay for grass because obviously we can harvest it and mow it every two to three months, so we'll get a decent amount of silage going. But yeah, so main priority yes, we can plant grass now, I don't see an issue with that. Actually, when is grass growing? That's going to be another thing as well. Grass grows until end of November, so actually we need to plant grass today. Oh, well then we'll be ready to mow in December, that's going to be the thing. Could we get a cheeky mow in in December, or will it not just grow over the winter? Because we're going to be hit pretty hard, I think, over the winter with just... With snow in that, that's going to be the thing. 
sensor issues there, but anyway, let's head to the shop and see what we have bought. Because this trailer is going to be absolutely run full. And here we are. And let's have a look at what we've bought. So we've bought some big bells, got nine five thousand year bells, so that is what forty five thousand years of straw. Also we bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or ten five thousand year TMR pallets and same size of five five thousand years of chicken feed. Also I bought some bags of seed just in case. So we need to get this all on somehow safely. Um, we've got the weight here as well if we need it. Hopefully we don't. Depend well, I think it's gonna be more on the bells than anything else. Ah, all good. And um, we should be able to just about fit everything on here, so So if we say put you, ah, uh, I don't think it's gonna be big enough for a three by three. Can we squeeze it? One. So yeah, we've got point one, two. No, I don't think we'll fit three on. Eight three Y is gonna be so close to the edge. For things that we have like the take handler perhaps we can get away with it. In terms with like being more precise, but yeah, if we don't have a take handler and I don't fancy paying the shop to use it when we don't actually need it, so Oh that's so close to in that cart. But yeah, I think first of all if we could just get the TMR and shoulder it up. Nope. Uh that's all I want to happen. Having straw bells falling over. Come on, let's get you on. Oh, no. Don't behave, behave. You're not behaving. Oh, well, well no, at least shut that in now. There we go. <laughs> I did say we were going to get this all fitted, but it looks like we're going to have some issues, so let's get this all loaded up and then um, take us over to the farm, I think. stuff here will load up and I realized we bought these bells however we need a bell shredder because this won't work with putting solid bells next to where the cows need them so that's gonna be a bit of a problem for us also I may have been may have bought a bit too much chicken feed but however it's always one of those things, worst case scenario, if we're getting close to the next harvest, we've got a bit more left over, or we think of winter, we're going to have some more feed left over, then we can always just sell some wheat. That's what this is, it's just wheat, so. So now, if we. I'm just going to take that pallet. But yeah, how much is it going to cost for a bell shredder or 
even something like a forge wagon that we just put the straw in uh, would it be under tools under animals uh, the cheapest one is what 29.5 So looking for a half decent one. That looks alright, but again, this is round bells, not square bells, so I'm not too sure. I'm, I have to just go with a forage wagon and just go with that. Because we've got how much straw? We've got 45,000 litres, so ideally, we want something that could potentially hold some of it. Do we? Do we want to or not? I think it's only saving too expensive. Eleven thousand nine hundred. I think should we risk it with this and see if it works? Wait, it's twenty nine five for twelve thousand of the years. Eight thousand liters. Oh, what's this one here? Ah, that's gonna be a problem. I think if you do it that way. I think go with something. Seventeen thousand liters. You know what? I was gonna risk it. It's gonna be two grand. See, so yeah, that's another thing we need now for the farm. A straw blower. But TMR now, worst case scenario, we can buy TMR. That's the thing. TMR, I am not overly concerned about, but everything else? Yeah. So let's try and get the rest of this feed in. Why are the chickens fully fed already? I just haven't noticed. <laughs> Go to chickens. Yep, yeah, they're fully fed, so. Yeah, well, a lot of this will be going into storage, I think. What's it clipping on? Ah, there we go. It's clipping on the perks of TMR. It's slightly tilted a little bit. So, didn't take one pallet. I've got a couple of more pallets off. TMR here, so that's going to be interesting. But yeah, so for today in this episode, it's going to be a massive money rush off, just get everything done for what I'm going to call Field 1 in future references. Field 1 is this field here. And it's all about buying Field 1, which is the one on the bottom right corner of the map, but. Oh, no, I don't want to hit that. Matt thing, I think it just moves, it does. So we need to just reverse up. There we go, just reverse up. So now if we say, let go of you. This bit of chicken feed, we can just place it ooh, without smashing into our own stuff. If we get low, I know we're going over the land and we really shouldn't be doing this because it's destroying the land, but there we go, just leave it there. Um, hasn't accepted all of the TMR for some reason. Why is that? Are the cows full? Yeah, they seem to be full. Yep, they are, so... Actually, just mind you. Do this, I think, haven't we? Yep, 
pools. If we flip you over, for some reason these are empty pallets, so we'll just go and shove them out of the way for now. That's still weighs 644 kilograms somehow, so what we'll do, we'll go and get shore blower and then go from there, I think. So, there we go, we got shore here, and I've been thinking actually what we could do, actually, is get one of shore the cows need, put them in here, if it accepts in all that is all good. The rest of it we can just spray it somewhere in the shed, that red shed there to our left. And be all good with that. But the thing is, I think this is going to cause some issue, so... No, I don't want to strap you down, not yet. Not with... This, well, we may have issues with Tiffany's bells, but... No, I just want the bells. And it seems... Yeah, we can lift them without a weight, so that's good. That's a good thing to know about. And what is the capacity of this again? That is, what, 17,000 or so. It was just about except three pallets. Not three pallets, well, three bells. Yeah, bells, not pallets, then, boy. Come on, let's get you in. Let's grab the last one. For some reason, it's not. Why is it not doing anything? <laughs> What's going on here? Do we have to turn it on to chop it up? Ah, there we go. And in theory, all we have to do is just start destroying. How much shore do they need? I absolutely have no idea. Oh, not a lot, actually. <laughs> 50 cows, what's that, about 10,000 years going to need? No, nope, 12, 5. So now, what we can do is if we actually, if we get you unstrapped, Move it somewhere that ain't going to be a complete disaster. I'll say there. Uh, yeah, sort of look into the shed. Plenty of space to store it. Also, you need to buy a bucket in that, but that saves having to lease after lease and after lease. I don't have to worry about spending 20 grand or whatever on a forage mixer or anything like that, so I am happy. Nope, I just, nope, nope, I just want the bells, the bells and nothing else. Nope, nope, nope. don't fall bells, good bells, good, 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 good bells, oh, nope, find some traction, <laughs> oh boy that was close, that was close, if I have to say so myself. One bell was in, and here's another two. Another two. No, not one, two. There we go. There we go, and that should be enough. Well, it should be more than enough. And in theory, does it have a tip size right? Oh, spit that right. No, it doesn't, so. Actually, we'll have to go in through where this door is open. Turn it on to go and mix it all. 
Obviously this is a bad ratio to make tier more than that, but for having to do straw, ouch, dish thing. In theory, all we have to do Where does this open up on this side? Oh, so it actually opens. So if we shut that. opens one door at a time. That's good to know. So now I'm just up the straw out. Up. I'm sure we should be able to just dismount these. Ah, whatever the issues of it, it's not letting us stack it high. That's a problem. And if we just go ahead and then go to the left of it. do is I'm gonna get this fish and done and I think I'll bring things back once we are done here I think because we have a nice little straw pile here and there we go all sorted all nice and neat so got our pallets all that in here got our bags and we've got our mountain pile of straw and it seems to be all good so, yeah, we need to buy, obviously, a bucket at some point, but at the moment, that I'm not too worried about. So I think what we'll do now is start tending to the field. So, first step is going to be lime, then cultivation, and then seeding, and then the eventual rolling. So, hopefully we don't use too much lime. Actually, we're not, and I'm missing bits on already. That's looking good. But yeah, so it puts a certain amount down depending on the soil type. Soil type and so as what's already in the ground and what is required, so... Yeah, actually, ain't too bad. Ain't just dumping it on the ground and using all of it within a minute or two. But yeah, it doesn't have the best of working whips, admittedly, but hey, it is what it is, at the end of the day. And this shouldn't take us too long, I don't think. Uh, based on what we've used already, this ain't going to take a lot to do. So I think now, the best thing to do is just get this all smashed out and then, yeah. I'll see you folks in a while, I think. Just get it all done. And yeah, before the sun sets. We're at times one still. And I'm not going to speed up because I know we'll just run out of daylight very quickly.
go, that is everything done, that took us a fair while. Had to leave times at point 0.5 just to get everything done in the same day. But yeah, so all the fields have been fertile, not fertilized, aligned, if you have a look here. So yeah, if we look at the cultivate seat, so yeah, every field has been lined, and we've got our field one seeded. Ignore this little bit here, just me not paying attention, but we'll do a little quick cultivation over that. But yeah, so that took us a little bit of time, like cedar, nice working width, but to be honest, we could do with a slight bigger width, because with all of our field extension, like this field, part of the field is three acres. That is 0 0.93, and this bit here is 0 0.24 acres, or hectares, should I say. So it's like 1.1, so it's 4.2 hectares, plus a bit here, so we're looking at a 4.3 hectare field, so. That should yield us pretty good. That's why I've used this field, that field 1, as the wheat field, because wheat and all that grain, cereal crop and that do tend to be a bit of a high yieldage in terms of volume. That's why I'm not too bad doing this because obviously with the environmental score and that and with the, the expected yield potential at 86%, 101%, 91% Oh, Whoa, we've almost gone off here because I was not paying attention. But yeah, so we've got a bit of timber here, we just cleared a bit of timber that we had around the north side of field 1 I forgot to pick up. And I'm going to take this over to the carpentry business because this can accept wood. So I was thinking might as well get some wood production underway. So that is the biomass heating plant there. And this is our carpentry business, so we say go there. Bit of a log there sticking out. Come on, there we go. That should be doing enough. And a little bits here and there. We've got one more log that we need to put in. But just see how much volume, like how much these ridge of timber we can get. Also, I see that we did have to take out a emergency loan. Don't worry, this will be paid off tomorrow or in the next month in November. So now that is all that timber in, and that is seven thousand liters of timber. So actually, we can get started on doing some furniture. So yeah, we should have our first pallet this time tomorrow, roughly, rough. yeah, around about five p.m. Plus our planks are doing well. We've almost got a full pallet there already. And plus we do have a lot of timber there, so it's almost like we could potentially take some of that down here and just do direct wood, but like 7,000 litres of timber. So that's going to use about, what's that, 432, eight, 864 litres per month. So this, the amount of timber we've just provided should be good for what, six months or so? Yeah, about six, seven, eight months, so... I suppose you actually do need a lot of timber to actually start doing... Well, that has surprised me a little bit. Ooh, one little bit here, I forgot. So that's another 200 litres, so... Yeah, we're underway, we should have our first planks tomorrow. I should have shown our first plank tonight and our first pallet of furniture tomorrow, so. I'm not saying would we just go and sell straight away? Potentially, we may hold up to see what like, December brings. At the end of the day, it's just free really down to like how much money that we can get, because I need to pay off that five grand emergency loan. We just borrowed it from a neighbour of ours, so we want to pay it off. And like, our general loan as as a whole is still quite high, two seventy five. Well two seventy plus a five grand emergency loan, so we need to get that down. Because once we've paid that off, we could look at getting a further loan. 
but that's the thing, I could see a bumper up get a half a million zone, but the thing is, it's about paying it off. But yeah, so I think that's going to really leave it today. So tomorrow, we should look at start doing some field prep work. Like the planting of corn and sugar beets. When's that? Sugar beets ain't until March and corn ain't until April at the earliest, so that's when I mean, we've got a lot of time ahead of us. Also, actually, we look at doing some fertilizer spreading. We've got the Surrey spreader, so we could use that and just fertilize our fields. Never really done Surrey before, so I'd be interested to see how good it is and that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.